In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this raised dog food dish stand for the 2019 Woodworkers Fighting Cancer group build. Uh, Woodworkers Fighting Cancer is a thing put on by Mark Spagnolo over at the Wood Whisperer channel, uh, where he designs and builds a project. And then if you build the project that he designed, they donate money to the Cancer Research Institute on your behalf. This year it is a raised dog bowl stand, which my wife has been bugging me to build her for quite some time, so it worked out great. I made the base out of hard maple and the top out of a piece of paduk that was staring me in the face begging to be a part of this project. I'm not going to go into great detail on how I built it because Mark already made a tutorial video, so this will just be kind of an overview of the process. And so here it is. I start by cutting out and milling up the pieces that will be the legs and stretchers. And that Freud Industrial 24 tooth rip blade that I got is eating this hard maple up like it's nothing. Mark used the Festool Domino to assemble his base, so the length of the stretchers on the plan is the exact width between the legs of the base. I planned on using traditional mortise and tenon joinery on mine, which meant I needed to add an inch and a half to the stretchers to account for the tenons. I completely forgot to do this and cut the pieces to the length specified in the plan. To salvage the now two short pieces, I decided to go with a floating tenon, which meant I had to build a jig to do it. I used painter's tape and CA glue to temporarily affix a block to my crosscut sled that would hold all of the legs in the perfect position for repeatable taper cuts. I took a piece of the maple scrap and rounded the edges over on the router table with a 1 8 inch round over bit to match the 1 quarter inch bit I cut the mortises with and then cut them to length to use as the floating tenons.
I glued up the two short ends of the stand as sub-assemblies so I wasn't trying to glue the entire thing together at one time. Once those tacked up enough to come out of the clamps, I glued the two sub-assemblies together with the long stretchers. I cut a 2 inch square off the edge of the paduke to save for another lathe project that I have in mind. Then I cross cut the piece to length and split it to make a book matched panel. To split the board to make the panel, I run it down its length on the center line, flipping it end for end, and then raising the blade and flipping it end for end again until I cut the panel in half. If you do this method, make sure that you keep your trailing hand high enough on the piece of wood so that it does not get hit by the blade when it exits the back. The cut was so clean that all I had to do was scrape off a thin strip with a putty knife and they were perfectly flat afterwards. I cut the piece to its final width, taking half the width I needed off of each side to keep the center seam in the center. Then I squared up one end of it and cross cut it to length. Using a feather board to hold the panel tight to the fence, I cut a bevel all the way around the piece. After a little bit of playing with those pine boards you see sitting on the side of the saw, I settled on an angle of 15 degrees. I drilled a couple of holes for pivot points and then used a trick I found online to turn my Festool parallel guides into a router trammel. You can see on the plywood underlayment the several test cuts I made before I did this on the real piece. My heart rate was up quite a bit during this entire operation.
Next I used a Forstner bit to drill out some recesses for some figure 8 fasteners to attach the top. Once the hole is drilled you use a chisel to take off the little corners that are left so that the uh, fastener can pivot freely. Then you flip the whole thing upside down and attach the top from the underside. Since this piece of furniture is going to be used by a couple of dogs, we're not going with anything fancy here. Just a couple of coats of satin armor seal. My daughter agreed to be in the video, but only if I let her dress up as Elsa. <laughs> Such a drama llama. And more stuff for the blooper reel.